Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So there was a few things that I did when I was off camera. I was working on that settlement a little bit, making sure that the uh, uh, building was going accordingly. And I'm pretty sure that I got that building all complete. Uh, we just need to um, work on the next thing. I'm sure we're going to be in a lot of debt already because it's been uh, over the weekend. But... Um, I did send out while I was waiting um, a couple, the mining vessel and the uh, recon or something or other. I can't remember what I was sending them out for. I think ex exploration or something like that. But um, I'll quickly take a look. Uh, let's see here. We got. I think this is a combat mission. So we got some stuff. Just our standard things money and the Cor Corvax or whatever it's called and magnetized ferry so our standard stuff for that and then for the mining just let that get off the screen there i'm not sure what we got for mining we haven't sent out our guy for mining and actually come back with anything for a while so okay so we got some more of that stuff some of this uh, i think that's really good expensive item right there Relays crystals. So we got some stuff from there. Now is that the same item I'm thinking of? Yes it is. Okay, so that's like an end thing and kind of game crystal thing. I'm not sure if they leveled up or not, so we'll have to take a look at that. But uh, I'm just going to move this stuff over to the uh, freighter here. For storage. Oh, we already have a spot for that. Uh, magnetized ferry. I can't remember what that was from. Uh, oh, magnetized ferry. That's it. All right, and got a whole bunch of other stuff here for that. We're gonna need to make up more fuel, I think. And uh, as you can see, I, I redecorated the base a little bit more as well. Made it a little bit more open for walking around and stuff, and placed our base guys in here as well. I still have some of the old components over at the um, our actual base, but I don't know. Eventually, we'll move it out. Uh, the other guys are back here uh, for the um, geo bay and armor, and then we have the gardener um, down over that direction. I moved all our crops up here as well, so um, down this way we have all our crops now. So main farms here. And then the other farms on the other side with uh, our farmer. So he's there.
So, now that we've basically moved everything from this base, I'm not really sure if there's any real reason for it anymore. I mean, we still got some of these exotic items and stuff, but um, a lot of these buildings and stuff like that. I was going to design it for the rooms and stuff, but I mean, we have the refineries here. But there's not a whole lot of other reason to actually have the um, this much stuff built, I guess. Uh, there's some of these random parts and stuff, but I'm sure we can come up with something useful for this. We do still have the um, the mines on this planet, so like everything's basically cleared out for the most part. It takes less energy that way, though, too, right? So. But, yeah, I'm sure we'll figure out something for it. We still need um, to find a good planet to settle down on. And this one's pretty cold, and it doesn't have any water, as far as I know. So, we can't really utilize the um, planet for all the, the exocrafts. But, um, we'll, we'll keep the base operational, I guess. And we do have the two refineries here, but like I said, we have those four refineries on our ship now, so if there's anything really important that we can buy here doesn't look like it. Some steel plates, we can get 18 of those here um, yeah, just really minor stuff really um, we've got the base mission still to do which requires traveling and stuff and, um, yeah, and we still have that one creature to find on this planet, actually. Haven't been able to find it. And, um, should try to find it one of these days. <laughs> I mean, this was our first planet, so. But, uh, yeah, just maybe move these things up to the, um, the freighter so they don't get lost and stuff. There's a few things up here that I want to move. Um, four curiosity items, so. And I don't know if we can actually put that on the freighter. Uh, I think we can move the beacon up there, though. And let's see here. We can definitely move that up. And I think there was something else in here. Yeah, that. I think we can move that up as well. Alright, so that's quite a bit of items moved. Um, I'm not sure what to do with all that power now, though. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll turn this into a secondary farm or something like that. So, I'm currently at the space station that we wanted to um, go back and explore the planets with. I'm going to spawn in our freighter here again. And, um... Well, we'll go to a planet first and then spawn it in. That way we have a direct line for it. And then when we're ready to go back to the other thing, I'll probably move the freighter over there. Um, well, not necessarily. I seem to pretty much manage the, um... 
sentinels um, on the base uh, on foot, so it actually worked a lot, a little bit more efficiently. So I, we can probably park our freighter over here for the meantime. This is that uh, system that we were exploring the last couple days. So uh, this is a fungus um, or an acid planet. That's what it says on the thing there. Silver, ammonium, copper. Um, fungal mold, which are the mushroom plants, so got a few things here that we might be able to explore. I'm not sure if there's anything, like any creatures, probably a few creatures on it. Um, usually there's between, I don't know, 3 to 12, I guess, creatures that can generate on the planet, so. Though there are some planets that don't generate anything, just rocks and sometimes flora. Alright, so I'm going to go over to the light side over here. And I'm going to spawn our um, freighter, just so we have direct access to the rover if we need it. And we'll head down here. It looks like another really hilly um, train, though the atmosphere is pretty thin on this planet. Okay, I mean, we're practically right at the top here, and we would be considered in space if we were to go any higher, so that's pretty nuts. Okay, let's try to find a suitable landing location regardless and take it from there, I guess. Some flat area down there. Maybe we can find a structure to land at. That's sort of a structure. Not exactly one with a landing pad, though. Alright, so we got uh, all the creatures on this planet found, all five of them. There wasn't that many uh, to find, but we got um, a little bit of nanites from that. And we found a lot of um, plants as well, plants and rocks. So 
We get a little bit of uh, bonus, especially the plants. We got a lot of plants on this one. And <clears throat> about 14, I believe. And let's see here. Yeah, we'll claim all that. We still need to give the planet a name. I'm just going to call it, um, let's see here. Uh, we could go with the last part, maybe, Kugo. If I can get the caps lock off. <laughs> go, and I think this is our third planet in the system, so I'll do, like, three. And, yeah, that's our third one. So the next one will be, um, four. And we only have, like, two more planets before we can go to a new system. So outside of that, I will be working on the construction on the, uh, settlement, um off camera over the period of the night and then we'll be able to um, hopefully get out of debt soon there's some decisions that we still need to uh, tend to for the uh, settlement but that can wait until next time uh, the main important part is actually building that construction and stuff like that so outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching Peace out.